Hey guys, so this is going to be a super quick video on how to do a personal swap, um, a personal glitter swap, and I call them 5 and 5 swaps because it's 5 glitter mixes and uh, 5 nail art items. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of paper, um, any paper will work, and you just need to fold it into 3 pieces like that. So when you, so it will fit in an envelope. Okay, so you're going to have three sections. So, this is how I do it. Other people do it pretty much the same or a little different. Usually on the top part, the, the top, I usually write like, you know, like a little thank you or something. And then we have the middle part here. And then the bottom. So, glitter mixes. I got these bags off of eBay. And they are 1.5 by 2.4. Um, you just have to search um, small plastic bags. And this is what it looks like. And it's um, 100 plastic bags for $1.99. And the seller is right there. So yeah, those are the bags. I use 1.5 by 2.4. And I got these labels from eBay. And this is what they look like on a big sheet. Got those from eBay. Um, so you're going to need to make your glitter mixes. You want to make five different mixes or whatever you guys agree on to do maybe six mixes or something. And each mix you want to be one teaspoon. So what I usually do is we make a glitter mix and then just take one teaspoon of it and put it in the bag and then you can label it and then put your name on it if you want so when people use your mix they know you know who it's from so after you have your five mixes made and bagged and labeled this is the middle section I put them I lay them um towards the bottom right here and I usually do matching nail art so I'll do it in you know whatever way it doesn't really matter okay so I line it up like this and these backs work really good because they fit in the middle section hopefully you guys can see this and I'm having it face your way so I got this, you can use this tape, any kind of printed duct tape. I got this from Walmart, or you can just use regular tape. I'm going to use a this printed uh, tape. And I made another one of these videos, but it was kind of long. So anyway, I just measured out however long the paper is. Once I have my five mixes lined up nicely... like so I tape them down now you don't want to tape down like way like this like way on top of the glitter mixes or even over the sills because um, if you tape over them when the person goes to take them off they'll rip so I just do it like barely on top of the tops, tops of the bags like so and you also want to make sure not you're not using like like that plastic um, shipping tape because when they you know pick the glitter mix up to take it off it'll rip so that's how you do that part and then we go to the nail art these little bags here are um, Okay, I got these little bags off of eBay and they're like two dollars and they are 1.5 by 1 or 1.25 by 1.25 and so they're perfect for nail art this is them compared to the size of like a thumb so uh, these are really good for nail art and I do the same thing I just put a little amount of nail art in there you don't have to measure that just kind of throw a little bit in there 
And I have some glow in the dark flowers, some hearts, some stars, uh, some little scissors, and some holographic moons. And I do it to match like the glitter and the nail art. So I line those up and then I tape them and this is the bottom section. So once I fold it up, like I would usually have a message right here. And then I just fold the nail art like this. It goes right on top of the glitter mix. Like that. And then the top folds over. So it's um, so it can fit into the envelope. Like so. So when the person opens it, you know, they can open it and see the little message. And then they open it like that. And that's what it'll look like. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will answer them. And when you send your glitter mix out in the envelope, you want to make sure you have two stamps. Or they'll, um, you need two stamps Usually, I put two stamps on mine so the person won't have to pay postage because sometimes the post office will hold it because it's too heavy for to just have one stamp. So again, that's what it looks like. And if you have any questions, just ask me and I will answer you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And thanks for watching, guys.